scabies is an infestation caused by a mite known by the name Sarcoptis scabii. The mite is normally not visible to the naked eye because it measures less than a half millimeter in size. Some drawings and other archaeological evidence discovered from Egypt indicate that the disease is old and has been present since ancient times. It is so old that even Aristotle, the great Greek philosopher, had talked about lice escaping from small pimples if they are pricked. The infestation is although not caused by lice and instead an eight-legged mite that looks somewhat like them is responsible for causing scabies. What does the scabies rash look like? There are some characteristic features of scabies which when present can strongly indicate presence of a possible infection. Itching that occurs especially during night and is so intense that it doesn't let you sleep. And burrows which are commonly seen in the skin between the fingers and toes. In addition, these burrows along with the rash can be seen over wrists, skin folds of buttocks, armpits, groin or breast. These areas are relatively warmer as compared to other areas of the body, which might explain why the scabies mite may prefer living on these sites. The rash caused by scabies is present commonly as papules, which are small, bumpy red lesions present over the skin. Sometimes the infection may cause fluid-filled blisters instead. The scabies rash is not caused by the mite itself, but it is the result of the hypersensitivity with which our body reacts to the presence of mite, its feces or eggs laid over the skin. Usually, it takes around 1-2 to two months from the time the mite is present on the skin till it starts causing symptoms. This is the case if there has been no previous history of scabies infection. However, subsequent infections cause symptoms in only about 1-2 to two days if the body is already sensitized to the scabies mite due to previous infestations. Scabies mite lives on the skin. Only a few number of scabies mites live normally on the human skin. Whereas a person diagnosed with scabies usually has 10 to 15 mites living on the skin. Crusted scabies, also known as Norwegian scabies, is a condition usually seen in those who do not have a properly functioning immune system. It is a severe form of scabies which can have millions of mites present at a time on the skin. The adult mite lives off on dead cells, digs burrows through the skin, and female mite lays eggs inside these burrows. The eggs hatch, larvae come out, and mature into adults, and the cycle repeats again. The mites thus keep on multiplying, creating new burrows, irritating the immune system, and causing more skin lesions and itching. How is the infection transmitted and diagnosed? The infection is transmitted by direct skin to skin contact usually among family members or sexual contact with an infected person. The skin contact needs to be for at least 15 to 20 minutes for transmitting the infection. Your doctor diagnoses scabies based on the history and presence of skin lesions in a person and similar complaints in other family members or contacts. Usually, no additional investigations will be required for making a diagnosis. However, sometimes if the skin scrapings are taken from the lesions, in doubtful cases and seen under a microscope, scabies mites are visible. How is scabies infection treated? Since scabies is caused by a mite, so the goal here is to kill the mite in the infected person as well as the contact. Permethrin lotion applied one time over the body during night and kept for over 6 to 8 hours is usually prescribed by your doctor. It is neurotoxic and paralyzing for the scabies mites which eventually die as a result. The lotion is applied all over the body including scalp, face, neck and especially between fingers, toes and under the nails. Sensitive areas like eyes, nose and mouth are avoided. The solution is then washed off the body the next day. One time application is enough to get rid of the infection. However, since the drug doesn't act on the unhashed eggs, it is necessary to repeat the application after a week in the same manner to kill whatever new mites might have hatched out of those eggs. All the contacts of the patient should undergo treatment and any physical contact with other individuals should be avoided until the time treatment is completed.
all your clothes should be washed and changed every day along with the treatment kebis might can live on the furniture or bedding for 1 to 2 days therefore the bed sheets and linen needs to be washed too while permethrin is commonly prescribed for application oral medication like ivermectin is sometimes preferred Other medications acting against mites like crotamidone and lindane are not used so much. Along with the medications that kill mites, drugs for relief of itching or treating secondary bacterial infections are also prescribed as needed. And it takes a few days for the itching to go away even after killing the mite. Some people believe that taking foods like walnuts, rhubarb or garlic in the diet can act as insect repellent, thus helping in getting rid of the mite. However, don't rely too much on this information as there is no scientific evidence for role of diet in the treatment of scabies infection.